Так, приветствую всех зрителей, какие у меня там есть, неважно, там 30, 100 подписчиков, один подписчик. Для любого подписчика я объясняю, что в данную игру мне очень понравилось играть, ну она необычная, как бы жанр очень интересный, приключенческий жанр, я думаю многим должен нравиться, особенно в такой подаче, то есть с элементами РПГ с развитием персонажа и так далее эту игру я прошел четыре раза на ютубе у меня как бы не стрим а просто запись игры я особо не озвучивал ничего потому что считаю что в данной игре должна быть родная озвучка так как очень приятно некоторым людям слушать оригинальный голос актеров всякие французские, немецкие, э, иностранные языки разные, там английский акцент. Э, что ж, вышла вторая часть, второй эпизод. Эпизодов вроде должно быть 5 в игре. Вот и вышел второй эпизод. Сколько-то дней назад, или вчера, или позавчера, не знаю точно, но э, начал я проходить игру и объясню как бы После того, как я четыре раза ее проходил, за разных там детективов, дипломатов, что там еще есть, какой-то политик вроде. Вот. Это, это особо влияет только на навыки, которые начально мы получаем. Дальше вы увидите, как бы, ну, проще говоря, если вы выбираете детектива, то навыки, которые в сторонке, где подписаны детектив, они все до первого уровня прокачаны. Их можно уже использовать. Многие стриберы, кто вот проходил игру, не сразу это замечают. Я как бы заметил, ну где-то после первого часа прохождения. Вот. И скорее всего выберут третье сохранение. Здесь оно у меня пройдено вне ютуба. Но уже я на ютубе так проходил единственная разница в том что я там больше разных вещей нашел монеток там еще чего-то осколков янтаря которые очки действия добавляют и получил некоторые достижения там мастера на все руки куча вот этих квадратиков с очками действия и грубо говоря самое лучшее прохождение там и уровень какой-то и все эти навыки получил то есть все они активные все можно использовать единственное что прокачивать уже до второго и дальше уровня там больше нужно будет очков навык вложить вот начну я с самого лучшего по моему мнению прохождения там детектив со шрамом или без шрама я уже не помню ну шрам зависит от того поверишь ты матери там или нет в начале игры когда они там у какого-то старика там сидят связаны вот и в дальнейшем в дальнейшем на канале выйдут остальные варианты прохождения то есть какие я на свой взгляд решу записать но скорее всего я буду три или четыре раза проходить дополнительно то есть выбирать э, другую концовку из первого эпизода и проходить и уже будут вариации прохождения самого второго эпизода вот, ну, на данном моменте я закончу свое объяснение и оставлю игру как есть. То есть э, не буду что-то комментировать или читать перевод, э, потому что не считаю это необходимым. Вот этим должны заниматься профессиональные э, люди, которые озвучивают ну, в лучшем качестве. Вот. Ну, как бы необходимости в этом нет. Поэтому наслаждайтесь игрой что происходит, какие выборы предстоят, и будем вместе смотреть, какие варианты есть в этой игре. Так, ну поехали. How many times must I tell you? You must never put your life on the line for me. Mother has always had a fascination for Lord Mortimer, but has never wanted to tell me why. We are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. Without your mother, 
Hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. All I can tell you is I'm looking for my sister. Do you believe your mother capable of torturing a child? An agreement for cannons. Lord Mortimer assured me that you are to take over the project on behalf of your mother. Johann Christoph von Wulner, Minister of Religious Affairs, and Jacques Peru, French Revolutionary Tribunal Judge. You will find that Lord Mortimer is not what one would call conventional, Monsieur de Richet. I do apologize for being late. I was obliged to clear up some urgent business. Last we meet, Monsieur de Richet. Do you mind if I call you Louis? Please do. Thank you. I wish to apologize wholeheartedly, Louis. I made you cross the seas, and I wasn't even here to welcome you. When I asked you to join us here, it was, of course, in the hope that you would help us find your mother. However, there may be some new developments, but I, I don't know if they are linked to your mother. We have found Elizabeth Adams' body in her room. I'm afraid she was brutally murdered, stabbed several times. <sighs> Duchess Hillsborough informed us that she accompanied you at the beginning of the evening. You apparently bumped into Miss Adams, who wanted to speak to you. We are told you turned her away, and she went away on her own. That's correct. Do you know what she wanted to see you about, by any chance? Not in the least. Kitty, the poor child was probably trying to find help. I thought it could wait until tomorrow. Hmm, apparently not. Louis, I shan't hide the fact that this tragedy puts me in a very delicate situation. I cannot risk upsetting the smooth operation of our next conference. But the case cannot remain unaddressed. I must reassure my guests, and justice will be done. And for that to happen, I must ask for your help. Why is that? You met Elizabeth. You spoke together, I believe. She trusted you. Listen, Louis. Find out who could have committed this murder. I refuse to believe that one of my guests is the murderer. I want to know who is responsible for this. And I trust you. You have my backing. Must stop at nothing. Can I count on you? 
Of course. H how would you like me to proceed? Maybe you could start by going to the scene of the crime. Elizabeth was attacked in her room. Can you tell me anything else about what happened? Now, Louis, I wouldn't want to influence you. Get over there and form your own opinion. Do you have any suspects in mind, my lord? I spent most of the night talking with Sir Gregory and his eminence Piaggi. So, I think you can remove them from the list of suspects. Monsieur Bonaparte and President Washington left the party after midnight, I believe. They were tired and went up to bed. Right. I'll get up there immediately. Thank you, Louis. Now, once you've finished, come back and let me know your findings. I'll be waiting. And Louis! You've got permission to search through the guests' rooms. They've all been notified and they agree. Nightmare painted by Fusili in 1781. could open this chest. this chest. Hmm, which four-letter word could open this chest? Hmm, which four-letter word could open this chest?
Dante's Purgatory. Why does your mind presume to flight when you're still like the imperfect grub, the worm before it's attained its final form? Charming. Hmm, which four letter word could open this chest? Your Eminence, I imagine that you've heard the news about Miss Adams. Oh, what a tragedy, my son. How could uh, such a thing have happened? That's exactly what I'm trying to find out. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary last night? Mm. I saw the young French soldier, Bonaparte, I believe, hanging around near Miss Adams' room. But I would not want to get an innocent man into trouble, Louis. It's uh, probably nothing. One last thing. You must know that Peru hit young Adams on the evening of our arrival. He apparently violently attacked her in the small salon. Do you know anything else about the attack? Oh, unfortunately not. I arrived too late to intervene. Young Miss Adams had already been submitted to the foul louts rat. Otherwise, you can believe me, it would not have happened. I've come to speak about the findings of the investigation, my lord. I'm listening, Louis. Will you remind me of the facts we already know about? Elizabeth Adams was 
killed last night. But Piaggi was with Holm and I until late at night. As for Bonaparte and Washington, they left us after midnight, both tired. I'll be in touch as soon as I have any more information. chest. Hmm, which four-letter word could open this chest? could open this chest. chest. Hmm, which four-letter word could open this chest? this chest. Hmm, which four-letter word could open this chest? four-letter word could open this chest. Hmm. 
Hmm, which four-letter word could open this chest? Hmm, which four-letter word could open this chest? Monsieur Johann von Wulner. Good day, Monsieur de Richer. Mr. Volner, are you looking for anything in particular? Next to Elizabeth's room? I... I... No, no, I... Nothing special.
Lord Mortimer must have informed you of the necessity for everyone to remain in their rooms until further notice. Certainly, but I'm a guest, not a prisoner. I was looking for a servant, since we don't all, unfortunately, have one at our disposal. Yeah, right. I shall leave you now, sir. I will return to my room. signs of obscurantism. The Sorrows of Young Werther. There's a handwritten text signed by Von Wohner on this first page. Dear Elizabeth, I know that this book is but a small token compared to the delightful moments you gave me, but I hope that this will nonetheless keep the memory alive. Your ever obedient servant. So, Volner had a relationship with Elizabeth, but that's hardly surprising given his fondness for the occult. A table of alchemical symbols. Someone circled the zinc symbol. Golden Elixir. A chest locked with a four-letter code. Surely a word close to the owner's heart. Chest locked with a four letter code, surely a word close to the owner's heart.
fragment of amber. The alchemist is an old man. What can I do for you, Duriche? Monsieur, Lord Mortimer has appointed me to investigate the tragedy that befell us last night. Oh, yes. It's horrible. Yes. How can I help, Monsieur? Excuse me for asking, but did you know Miss Adams? Oh, she... Uh, not really, to tell the truth. No. I found the Werther dedication, signed by your hand, monsieur. Would you like to change your version now? Be careful, Duriche. Don't push your luck. My relationship with Miss Adams was pure, and has nothing to do with you. Well, continue playing the detective as you see fit. But if I find the bastard who did that to Elizabeth, I will... Yes! I would have preferred a simple response, but I see I have my answer now. You loved her, didn't you? That is none of your damn business. Your feelings betray you, sir. So what? Yes. I loved her, like a moth loves the flame of a candle. That's why we could never be together. I get the impression that your romance was over. Am I right? So? What does it matter to you? I would never have attacked her, if that's what you're insinuating. Who put an end to the relationship? You or her? It was her. It was her. But what does that matter? We both agreed. Exactly how long had you been seeing her? I have no reason to answer you. I see. Is that what you want me to tell Lord Mortimer when he asks what I found out? It's... It's only been a few weeks. Please, tell me a little more about the nature of your relationship. That is a personal matter, monsieur. Yes, that is true. So, tell me. All right. It was passion. That's why we couldn't stay together. It scared her. Where were you last night? In my room. I read a few ancient manuscripts before going to bed, but I didn't stay up long. I was tired. Thank you kindly. We finished. I'll have a look around and then take my leave. Do whatever you have to do. They say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost.
has uh, finished with this room. Do you know who could have made such a mess of this room? Miss Adams, sir. We were given orders to leave the room as it was, so as not to rush her. Did she have a fight with someone to get the room into this state? Not that I know of, sir. Miss Adams would sometimes throw a tantrum, during which she would destroy anything that came to hand. Lord Mortimer told us not to enter the room. Thanks for that information. You are welcome, sir. Has sir finished with this room? No. I haven't gone over everything yet. Uh, sir may take his time. When Sir would like to leave, Sir has only to tell me. My dear Elizabeth, I'm writing to inform you of some unfortunate news. We won't be able to meet as planned. The clock stopped at 3.54 was smashed during the murder, then I've just established the time of the crime. That would clear Emily de facto because she was still with me at the time. A pentagram? What the hell's been going on here? Many esoteric rituals are based on this shape. Could Elizabeth have been sacrificed during an occult ritual? Contrary to what most people believe, a pentagram's not there to conjure up, I don't know, what evil or demonic creature. With the point toward the top, the pentagram is an ancient symbol of protection against evil. Elizabeth's death has anything at all to do with this pentagram. If a ritual went wrong and degenerated, Elizabeth would probably have been killed in the center of the pentagram, not three meters from here. That's strange. A notebook written in Elizabeth's handwriting. It is written in a mix of several languages. Not too easy to work out. It looks like a mixture of medieval Latin and Anglo-Norman. It is difficult to make sense of this jerky writing. I can make out some passages, though. He's coming. The demon is upon me. He's coming back to kill me. There she is. Death has come to finish me off. I've just run into her son. That was her last entry. What tortured writing. June 11th, 17th. A pistol? Fairly new, I'd say. And judging by the weight of it, fairly light. Hmm. There's a few dried traces of blood on the grip. Difficult to know for sure how they got there. A tribute engraved on the barrel. To the liberators of France. It's extremely well maintained. The barrel is perfectly clean. It isn't loaded and well, there's no traces of gunshot residue. I'd conclude that it hasn't been used recently. Right. I shall have to find its owner. 30 November, 7. Piece of fabric, high quality at that. I'd say it's silk. Going by the texture and the gray hue, it must come from a, a dress, that kind that women of quality wear. The color doesn't correspond to Emily's black outfits, and Elizabeth doesn't have anything quite like this in her wardrobe. Let's take a closer look. It's a little dirty. It must come from the bottom of the dress where it touches the ground. I recognize that moiré pattern. 
It's the same as the travel dress my mother was wearing when she left. But why the hell did she come into this room? Vials of laudanum. Large quantities could knock out a bull. Could Elizabeth have been drugged? If the body wounds are anything to go by, then clearly not. She put up a fierce fight. The label shows that this laudanum comes straight from America. I wonder if Washington's involved. Blood spatter indicates that the murder must have held Elizabeth upright during the attack. Even if Elizabeth wasn't very big, I, I doubt she wouldn't have put up a struggle. It takes tremendous strength to overpower someone like that. Knocked over bottle of wine. Plonk is that? Hey, it's a Bordeaux. That's a Chateau de Brion. It's a great wine. I don't know what's happened to this wine, but it's undrinkable. Knocked over bottle of wine. I know that smell. It's laudanum. It must have been mixed with the wine directly in the bottle. The lower part of the handle is unsullied by blood. The murderer gripped the weapon so tight that there's no blood where he held it. The handprint indicates a small and slender hand. The blade is short and thin. Well sharpened, apparently. It's covered in blood. Still fresh. Poor girl bled to death. Whoever left that footprint has boats for feet. That's at least a size 15. Where's a size like that here? Peru? Washington, maybe. Blood, but no trace of blows on the legs. More tattoos, similar to those on the rest of her body. No trace of sexual assault or rape. I see no sign of bruising on the skull. The only clue is a scar from a previous craniectomy. Poor Elizabeth, she 
She must have been very young when she went through all that. That's torture. She also has old scars around the neck. Maybe mutilations. What a strange smell. The breath. It smells of alcohol and of laudanum. People use it to relieve pain. She bled from the nose. She bled from the nose. There are signs of bleeding, but I don't see any traces of bruising. There are numerous marks on the body. She must have fought like a lion. It couldn't have happened without a lot of noise. There are also a number of old scars. She had the Sigillum de Amoth tattooed on her, the symbol of the living God, written in the language of angels, according to believers. It is rare for someone to know about symbols like this at her age, unless her mother was a tutor. Ancient Greek, let's see what it means. These are sacred chants intended to protect their bearer, but from whom, or from what? Symbol of the Masons? What's that doing here? Scarring, ugh. Scarring isn't very regular, but they're mostly from old cuts. People who scar themselves in this way generally do so to release some kind of psychological suffering. By trying to master the pain, they establish their self-control. The scars are superficial and were made several years ago. She wasn't trying to take her own life. I count no fewer than nine wounds on the thorax with a lot of blood. At first sight, I'd say that's what caused her death. Some of these tattoos are veritable works of... What's that? The skin between her breasts is different. Bloody hell! This tattoo was drawn on a page of leather and stitched onto her skin. Probably during childhood, the scars are anything to go by. It's the same kind of tattoo as on the rest of her body. No wounds, but blood on the right hand. Nothing on the left except that tattooed symbol. This pinnacle is a trap. The wearers of the pinnacle thought that they were protected from evil by surrounding it inside the different circles of the pinnacle. Has sir finished with this room? I know enough now. Thank you. Very well, sir. Sir, may I return whenever need be. I shall guard the door.
President George Washington. Devil's Thorn. I'll keep it. A map of Vermont. A map of Vermont. A map of Massachusetts. It looks like a note between Emily and Washington about trade deals. English and the Americans are preparing a peace treaty. It would appear that Emily is in secret discussion with Washington about reopening trade between the United States and England. If such an arrangement came into being, France would suffer dearly. My dear George, I'd like to invite you to join me as planned at my place. I have a project to show you. It is time that the United States played a more important role on the world stage. I understand your reluctance of playing with fire. I know your new country is very young, but rest assured that I would do nothing to jeopardize what we have built together. I look forward to seeing you soon. Your friend, William. A map of Connecticut. They say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. Portrait of George Washington. Honey, the remedy of the gods. Monsignor, His Eminence Cardinal Piaggi. Huh, that's me.
Duke Manuel Godoy. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Tending children at the orphanage in Harlem. I find it a little hard to understand this painting choice. King George III in coronation robes. Nice touch for the room of an English duchess. Grammar of Pont-Royal. Ah, the artistry of the French language and all its splendor. Whoever masters French commands the world, at least une partie of it. Amber crystals. Dear E, I received your last letter. Unfortunately, the Crown informed the Golden Order that our mission should under no circumstances hamper Sir Gregory's plans. Decidedly, they have support from the highest level in Buckingham Palace. So here we both are, hands and feet tied, and little room to maneuver. Keep me abreast of events. Our mission is becoming more complicated. Yours, E. P.S. The French chapter of the Order doesn't appear to know anything about the arrival of our friend Sarah. I therefore cannot comment on it. However, my guess is that she has come here for personal reasons. The Lady's Waldegrave by Reynolds, painted upon the request of the Waldegrave family in an effort to find them a husband. Displayed like meat, it's disgusting. Addressed to Emily. He's the present Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Emily has indeed some powerful backers. Madam, thank you for consoling the Queen. The King's situation is worsening, but I wager he'll recover from this present fit. Next time you speak with Her Majesty the Queen, would you please be so kind as to ask her to look into my petition to raise taxes with the King? I will personally see to it that our nation will recover from this impasse. But King George's mental situation is slowing down our decision-taking. Thank you in advance for all your help. William Pitt, Prime Minister of the United Kingdom of Great Britain. Cash. Two coils circle the lock. Queen Charlotte. All the royal family of England is there from what I can tell. A letter from William Pitt the Elder addressed to Emily. He was the English Prime Minister. This letter dates from 15 years ago now. Madam, I shall never thank you enough for all your care and attention. I shall be indebted to you until my last breath. If you have any request of me, you only need ask. With regards to my son William, I shall never thank you enough for looking after him. You know the latter's preferences, and you will understand he needs you desperately. For that, and as agreed with Queen Charlotte, our friend Duke Hillsborough will carry out his task and meet with you within six months. From then on, you'll be free from want. Yours sincerely, William Pitt, Count of Chatham. Devil's Thorn, to be used to uncover the best disguised traits.
two coils circle the lock. Dear Gregory, thank you for the information. I've managed to find out about the names you gave me. George Washington is a man you can trust. In spite of his obvious talent for politics, he has remained upright and honest. On the other hand, as you may well know, he is already doing business with Lord Mortimer. It will be more difficult to approach him. Napoleon Bonaparte was unknown to me until today. He's a passionate young French soldier for whom Mortimer predicts a promising future. Take heed. He is a man of conviction, which to my mind makes him potentially dangerous. As for Sarah de Richet, what more is there to say? You already know each other. She was apparently invited by Lord Mortimer about an ongoing matter in Paris that concerns a receiver in stolen art. See you soon. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. All right, I've retrieved everything. What can I do for you, Louis? I've come to see you about last night's tragedy. Did you hear anything about what happened to Elizabeth? Yes, we all did. Rumors spread quickly, you know. How awful. I didn't know her well, but I hope at least the poor thing didn't suffer too much. Death came quickly. You can be assured of that. If such a senseless act can happen here, then none of us is truly safe anywhere. Lord Mortimer must be mortified that one of his guests could have committed such an act, don't you think? He is indeed very upset about it. It's only natural after such a violent murder. Violent? What do you mean? Elizabeth was stabbed nine times. Oh my god, Louis. How awful. The murderer must have had a serious grudge against her to set upon her like that. It must have been a crime of passion. Do you know what happened exactly? In fact, Lord Mortimer has asked me to look into this case, Emily. Really? Are you Lord Mortimer's snoop now? I'm doing it for Elizabeth, not to please Mortimer. Good for you. Quite right, too. Have you found out anything? Tell me, Emily, what's the nature of your relationship with Washington? Oh, come off it, Louis. You're not going to go into a jealous rage, are you? No, I can assure you of that. That has nothing to do with it. It doesn't really matter. Look, Louis, the President and myself are working on a number of commercial contracts. Nothing overly exciting. You're lying. If these agreements come into being, they'll break Franco-American alliances for the greatest benefit of England. In order to know. Did you and Elizabeth get to know each other? I must admit, Louis, I... I didn't take much interest in her. I feel a bit guilty about it, but I never actually spoke to her. She seemed burdened by her problems, and as she wasn't invited to the conference, I didn't really seek her out. I won't keep you, Emily. Thank you for answering my questions. See you, Louis. William Pitt, the Elder, Earl of Chatham. Emily worked with his son.
Hannibal crossing the Alps. Another military success. Why do I get nothing but visions of horror in my room, and he gets victory after victory? The Battle of Alexander at Issus, or how Alexander the Great triumphed over King Darius. Yet another one with delusions of grandeur. Vercingetorix throws down his arms at the feet of Julius Caesar by Royer. There's just one holster in Bonaparte's gear, and the pistol is missing. On the other hand, his cleaning equipment is in mint condition. That's typical of the soldier in him. My dear Napoleon, as previously agreed, I would like to ask you to join us in January on my island to participate in the high society meeting 